Burger King Japan is making black burgers. Now, if you thought this was a rerun, guess what? You're wrong. They're just fucking doing it again. And if you want further proof, uh, this is a new shirt. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your old pal Noah Galutin. Now, the last time we talked about Burger King Japan on this show was to talk about their new item, the King Dog. Or was it uh, the King Dong? I don't know. And to be honest, I don't really f care. So let's move on. Well, now Burger King Japan is revisiting their Ninja Burger concept in which uh, they use black buns on the burger. Also, uh, Black Buns is the nickname for our producer, T. Uh, she also will respond to the name Hot Cans, although she will respond by punching you in the face. On September 19th, Burger King released their uh, Kuro Diamond and Kuro Pearl Burger. See, Kuro means black in Japanese, and there's so far no confirmation as to whether or not eating this burger will give you a big fat Kuro sh**. These burgers have black buns and black cheese, and uh, the original Ninja Burgers only had black bun. Now, they make these buns black by using an infusion of uh, bamboo charcoal. There's no word yet on uh, which cheese they are dyeing black, but based on the promotional photos, it looks rubbery as fuck, so I'm pretty sure it's not an artisanal cheese. Artisanal. No, it's artisanal. I think I got it right the first time. The burger patties have extra black pepper in them, because, you know, it's fucking black. And then uh, they use squid ink in the sauce to foreshadow the Kuro diarrhea that we have not yet been able to confirm will very most likely happen to your body. The Kuro diamond has uh, lettuce and tomatoes and all that vibrant crap on it, but if you think that the Kuro diamond's kind of like the uh, Bryant Gumbel of black burgers, then you want to get yourself the Kuro pearl burger, which is just the black stuff and a burger patty. And uh, if you want to complain about the sensitivity of that joke, I'll go ahead and write your letters to T, because she wrote it. And I'm clearly very white. Let us know in the comments section if you think these burgers sound exciting, or if uh, you think they sound like a dumb publicity stunt. But uh, chances are you're probably not in Japan, so it may not be that relevant to your daily life. And a shout out to Andreas Rosendahl for shooting us this story, even though we already kind of knew about it. But whatever, hey look, we said your name. Aren't you excited? That's it for us today, guys. I'm Noah Galutin. Make sure you subscribe to Tasted for brand new uh, inflammatory racial jokes about food right here on the Food Feeder.